And back with me now is Fox's foreign correspondent, Trey Yinks, in Kyiv. Uh, Trey, you say that airstrikes are now dropping bombs on Ukraine control centers. Exactly, Laura. We're getting this from an advisor to the interior minister saying that airfields, military headquarters, and other control centers around Kiev are being targeted with both cruise and ballistic missiles. These strikes are underway, and we are seeing lawmakers such as Senator Marco Rubio uh, tweeting out right now, basically saying the intelligence that they have indicates this is not anywhere near over. Remember, the Russians right now are targeting not only the largest city in Ukraine, but a number of other critical smaller cities in the eastern part of the country. Kharkiv, the second largest city. We're talking about millions of people right now, mostly civilians who are in the crossfire of this conflict. It's part of the reason you had so many Western leaders pleading with Russian President Putin not to launch this invasion. It's the same reason you had Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky tonight speaking Russian on national television here, speaking directly to President Putin and the Russian people, urging him to call off this invasion. This was a slow bleed. We knew it was coming. Over and over, Western intelligence analysts warned of this scenario, a worst-case scenario that is currently taking place right now, not only in the Ukrainian capital, but across the entire country. There's a variety of different angles and positions that you're going to see the Russian forces continue to move in on. But again, our Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon has been reporting on this over the past several weeks. And the intelligence indicates that these airstrikes that we are seeing across Ukraine, it's just the beginning. They will be followed by more heavy assaults against this country and then ground troops moving in. We know the ground troops are there. Nearly 200,000 Russian forces over the past several months have moved, according to satellite images that we reviewed today. More troops from Russia are getting close to the border. So President Putin clearly here preparing for a long campaign, understanding that while he does have the upper hand militarily against Ukraine, this will be a bloody conflict. Make no mistake, the Russians will ensue casualties in this conflict. But the unfortunate part about this war that is erupting right now in Eastern Europe is that there are millions of civilians caught in the crossfire. Three million people in this city who tonight are sheltering in place. We were told by authorities mm. in Kiev that there would be uh, air raid sirens if these types of strikes took place. You cannot hear anything behind me right now, though the strikes continue. Laura. Uh, Trey, thank you so much tonight, and stay safe. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.